uh, their joy for learning is gone. They don't have any enthusiasm when they go to school in the morning. These South Brunswick parents say it's the result of excessive homework, and it's happening to many children in the district, leading to kids going to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning, waking sleep-deprived even on weekends and vacations. Their complaints and concerns of anxiety-filled high school students seem to represent some of the results of a recent survey of 22,000 high school children, 39% in school tired, 29% stressed. They don't have time to eat, they don't have time to sleep, they don't have time for extracurricular activities, they certainly don't have time for any, any family time. We want them to compete, like I said earlier, but at not the expense of the health, right? Not at the expense of the mental fitness, right? Parents say since last school year they've taken their complaints to the South Brunswick superintendent and school board, but have not gotten any relief. The South Brunswick school superintendent heard the parents' complaints and formed a committee to study the homework issue. Parents say that reaction is drastically different than the superintendent of the neighboring West Windsor Plainsboro district, who commissioned a study and found out 68% of his high schoolers said that they were stressed all of the time or most of the time. That superintendent says it seems too much emphasis is being put on making the grade as opposed to learning. So last school year, he mandated four nights with no homework. The West Windsor superintendent wrote in a letter to his district, there are times when we need to collectively have a break from the responsibilities of homework and enjoy time with family and friends. Seton Hall's director of secondary education, Dr. Daniel Katz, says excessive, sleep-depriving, stress-inducing homework has no benefit. High levels of stress are, are not going to help students actually cement what it is that they're learning in class. Um, people that are overtired are not going to be able to grapple with big and complicated questions. Parents say they want to work with the district to ease the homework load and produce more learning before the stress leads to a tragedy. And my fear is, you know, does it take a tragedy for us to make that change, right? Does it have to be that? Or can we do better than that and be more proactive? and seeing what the problem is, recognize it, and put some solutions. So the South Brunswick superintendent did not respond to several NJTV News requests for comment. Michael Hill, NJTV News.